times of uncertainty or spiritual disconnect, meet Pastor Richard Opadare, the senior pastor and founder of Christ Family Assembly Outreach, London. A father, husband, and pastor with a prophetic anointing, preaching the undiluted word of God worldwide for over 15 years. He is a teacher, author, and professional counselor, both therapeutic and spiritually, and is here to inspire your divine breakthrough. God continues to use Pastor Richard to encourage both young and old, male and female, and most especially couples. He is the editor-in-chief of the Awesome God magazine and your host of Awesome God. Listen here every Tuesday on PRZFM, 9pm to 10pm, and be greatly blessed. Hello everyone, this is Awesome God on PRZ, Radio 109.2 FM. I am your host, Pastor Richard of Bedari from Christ Family Assembly Outreach, London, UK. This is the moment that everybody has been waiting for, and I welcome you all. Tonight we want to discuss something about God, gracious God. That's the key, gracious God, gracious God. Shall we pray? Father, we bless you because you are a gracious God. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your compassion. And most importantly, we appreciate you because you are our Father and you always hear us. Thank you for opportunities. As we go into your word in this hour, we pray, God, that you take control. Let your word bless us. Let your word empower us. And let your word enrich us. And your name shall be glorified forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Yes, as I said earlier on, gracious God. Psalm 145. Psalm 145 from verse 8 to 9. Tells us that the Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercy his tender mercies are over all his words. God is good to all. Mm. So, this is inclusive of you and I. God is good to all. The Lord is gracious, full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. If we have to look at the characteristics of God, this is enough for you and I to accept God as our Father. Is gracious to us all. This should this word should give you encouragement and make you happy that you have a good God. People sometimes make bargains with God, saying, "If you heal me or get me out of this mess or out of this trouble, I will obey you for the rest of my life. I will do this. I will do that." However, as soon as people recover. Their vow is forgotten, or they revoke the vow and resume to their old age or to, 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 to their old style. The Bible informs us emphatically that God is gracious, he is gracious to us all, and He has blessed us as well. This is, this, this, this is deep. Nobody can be described this way. That somebody is gracious, full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. No, there is none. And verse 9 tells us, the Lord is good to all. Have you found somebody who is good to all? And his tender mercies are over all his works. It can only be God. With this in mind, I'm so happy and I'm delighted to tell you that God is gracious to you. It is our prayer on a daily basis that we want to receive the grace of God, requesting God to make his face to shine upon us, 
so that the ways of God may be known on the earth, so that his salvation among all nations can be preached, can be talked about, we, that we can evangelize and talk about this God, that we can announce God's power and God's grace, proclaiming God's kingdom, proclaiming his goodness to all people of all nations. Can I ask you, how many times in a day have you been able to think deep and say God is good? Have you been able to talk about this, the, the grace of God that you enjoy, that God is so gracious to you? Mm. God cannot just make a promise. He fulfills it. If God hears your prayer, if God is so gracious to you and full of compassion, if God is slow to anger, he has not, he has not dealt with you with, 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 with the way that we are dealing with him. He forgives us all the time. He's of great mercy. We really need to get connected to God and fulfill our bit of the vow that we made to him at the beginning. Remember, joy comes from speaking the good news about God around and across the globe, or even just in your community, at your workplace. There is joy in it. Look at the psalmist. Could he have looked across the years of his life to see that God is gracious, that God is full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercies. He must have had a bit of experience before putting this down. My own personal experience is that God is good, so gracious and full of compassion too. He's of great mercy. Therefore, I want you to count yourself among the great crowd of believers worldwide who has that personal relationship with God enjoying His grace day in, day out, and is so merciful to you. Remember God's glory and power. From experience, times, and cultures do change, but God never changes. He remains the same. God is constant. No other thing is constant in life. That is why Hebrew chapter 13 verse 8 says, Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God is always majestically present as a great defender and a wonderful provider to his people. With a shout of praise in your mouth, with a sound of joy deep in your heart, Will you announce about the, 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 this gracious God to people? Those who are yet to know about him, the unbelievers, will you be able to tell them about the grace of God you enjoy day in, day out? If God is very gracious to you, how many people have you discussed this with? Have, have you discussed with to tell them about this gracious God? Yes, though sometimes we may have a cry of distress in the sea of trouble and the sound of uh, 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 the sound and the noise of problem all around and all over. But yet, begin to daily appreciate God because He's so gracious, full of compassion slow to anger and of great mercy. And the most important thing, God is good to all. Irrespective of your age, your background, your color, your nationality, your religion, God is good to all. That's what the scripture says. Therefore, begin to announce this God. Let people around you know about his grace. Begin to look forward with joy. Your day of abundant harvest. Your day filled with blessings, happiness, 
and it can only come from God. Imagine God's constant help from your childhood or from the day you were born up to your age. That means, irrespective of your age, it has been God. Our lives are full of series of testimonies. How God has showered us with His grace, with His blessing, with His mercy. God has done awesome things in my life. And without doubt, He has done awesome things in your life as well. From the beginning of the year to this moment, Throughout the past years, it has been God, no other person. God cares for the needy. God is mindful of the afflicted. He's mindful of the prosperous, the weak, the strong, because they all is precious. People, He created every one of us. We are all precious to Him. If God feels so strongly connected with those that are in need and loves them so deeply that He answers our prayers, you need to know that He will not ignore you or forget you too. But you need to examine yourself. What are you doing to reach out to God? What are you doing concerning the assignment He has given you? Do you relate with Him personally as a father to son? Or as a father to daughter. As believers, we can know in our hearts that God is sovereign and God is strong. And the word of God encourages us in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Saying, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave nor forsake you. That is encouraging enough to go out the day and go about your daily activities and business. Obviously, when life is hard on you, really pressing hard on you, when you feel stress or when you're overwhelmed with challenges and problems, sometimes series of hardships my come your way. I'm encouraging you and I'm admonishing you tonight. Don't allow your focus to get blood. And do not allow your faith in God to shake. A lot of people allow suffering to hinder their faith in God. Their faith begins to tumble down. They get distracted and begin to spin spirally downwards because certain negative things has happened in their life. Don't follow that trade, please. But stay strong and focus on God, the author and finish of your faith. Remember, God created the entire universe. He holds the stars in place. And he knows the exact number of years on your head. Therefore, he's aware of your situation. And he's in control. God owes the power to cause things to happen. So whatever you are going through is aware. Don't feel neglected. Don't feel dejected. God is in control. Every second, every moment of your life, God is in control. God can easily line up our paths to cross with others, especially those that will favor you as he has desired or as he considered the defeat. This moment I've come to tell you that God will open doors that will leave you surprised your entire life. How he's going to open the door, how he's going to get it done, you may not know. But get ready for the wind of change. This moment, this hour, this week, get ready for the wind of change. This year, get ready for the wind of change. This month, get ready for the wind of change. Because the gracious God is going to do great and mighty things in your life. He's going to turn things around for you. Remember? 
The greater blessings come after the greater times of testing. I say this again. The greater blessings come after the greater times of testing. So whatever you are going through now is just a testing period. And if you are going through the blessing period, begin to bless God. He's so gracious. He's a gracious God. He's a gracious Father. God is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. Embrace God. Because over and over again, the scripture tells us this in Proverbs 18.10, that the name of God is a strong tower. How often do you call him by name? How often do you address him as your father? Mm. The name of God is a strong tower. It's never a crime to call him by all his name anytime, any moment. But when you call that name, Satan will fear and tremble. And you will gain more blessings. And you will become victorious in your situation. God is good. God is gracious to God, to us. He's a gracious God. He's a gracious Father. You are among the very few that has benefited from this gracious God and you continue to benefit from Him. The issues of life and challenges you are going through cannot and don't allow it to define your destiny. Your suffering and tribulation, they are just for a season. Obviously, very soon, you will be smiling and shining. Yes, very soon, pretty soon. You will be smiling and shining. Suffering and trials cannot define you. But God alone, God alone who is gracious to us, that is the person that is able to define your destiny. His suffering and trials cannot define you. Don't allow it to defile you. I say this again. If suffering and trials cannot define you, don't allow it to define you. Because God is sitting on his throne, he's a gracious father, and he will always be gracious to you in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 30 verse 10 says, The Lord will again take delight in prospering you. Wow. That sounds good. The Lord will again take delight in prospering you. God does not bless us grudgingly, but he blesses us graciously. You will be blessed graciously this hour. You will be graciously blessed this moment. You will be graciously blessed this week. You will be graciously blessed this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God is gracious to us. Don't allow anything contrary to tamper with your mindset. Just know and agree in your heart. That God is gracious. Believe it and it will work. Yes, it will work. God is gracious. There's a kind of eagerness about the sufficiencies of God. He's a sufficient God. And He will step down with all the sufficiencies to the arena of your needs. All previous or men needs shall be met this season by His grace in the name of Jesus. So if Psalm 145 verses 8 and 9 can inform us that the Lord our God is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy, that is enough to make your day. That is enough to make you happy. That is enough to make my day to make me happy. And verse 9 informs us that the Lord God is good to all. He is good to all. And his tender masses are over all this world. May that God be good to you, both in season and out of season. May God be good to you, both in summer and winter. May God be good to you, both at daytime and nighttime. May God be good to you when you are out and about. May God be good to you when you are in the house. May God continue to be good to you when you are sleeping. May God be good to you when you are at work. May God be good to you when you are at business. May God be good to you. When you are down, 
and it will uplift you far beyond your imagination in the mighty name of Jesus. This is what I mean. That God is gracious. He's a gracious God. Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 24. He says, I am the Lord who practices steadfast love Justice and righteousness in the earth. I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, declares the Lord. Mm. How does that sound to you? For me it sounds good. Makes me happy. Makes me happy to have a good God, a gracious God. And God will always be gracious to every one of us in the name of Jesus. Yes, you might be struggling now, but the struggle will be over in the name of Jesus. It might be, it things might be hard. That hardship, you will not die in it. It's for a moment. You will begin to thrive very soon in the name of Jesus. Our emotions often go up and down. We sometimes get bored and discouraged. Yes, it's human. But to this hour, this moment, I have come to encourage you that yes, change your mindset. God is gracious. He's a gracious father. He will sort you out soon. In the name of Jesus. Sometimes we might feel hopeless. And sometimes we feel hopeful. Sometimes we are so excited and happy. Often we are down and unhappy. But in whatever situation we find yourself, trust God. He's in it with you and he will surely surprise you. In the name of Jesus, he will uplift you far beyond your imagination and he will turn around your situation for his glory. In the name of Jesus, he's a gracious father. Is a gracious God. The Lord God will lead you by His Spirit to fulfill your accomplishment in life. And door of glory, doors of opportunity we open unto you day in, day out. You become unstoppable in the name of Jesus. The Lord God will awaken your vision to greatness and release His grace of breakthrough upon your life. Upon your business, in the name of your, throughout the rest of this year, throughout the rest of your life, you will enjoy the grace of God far beyond your imagination, in the name of Jesus. For it is written that the Lord God make everything beautiful at His time. May life begin to be beautiful unto you. May your destiny begin to be beautify and you will continue to shine. For the glory of God will rest upon you all your entire life in the name of Jesus. Every backward movement concerning your life is demolished permanently in the name of Jesus. The Lord God will make you a winner in the name of Jesus. In all your pursuits, you are a winner. That is declared. In the name of Jesus, I pronounce it in the name of Jesus that you are a winner. In the name of Jesus, you are more than conqueror. You will prevail in all situations and circumstances. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God will give you power to maximize every moment of your life. And you will begin to achieve all your heart desires. In the name of Jesus, your testimony, your life will abide in testimony. Because you are testimony yourself. You are testimony about this gracious God. Therefore begin to shine. And let your light shine that forces of darkness will bow before you all the time. The Lord God will empower you and make his grace abound in your life. The Lord God will fortify you with his power against all the forces of darkness and enemy that are rising to oppose your forward movement. The Lord God will empower you against all those forces of darkness that are against your progress. You will laugh and you have a long lasting laughter in the name of Jesus. You remember? Sarah laughed. When God told him, told her that she's going to conceive and have a baby at what age? The age that it was practically impossible for a woman to be pregnant. That is God. That is the gracious God I'm talking about. He will do your own. 
in the name of Jesus. You are the next in the pipeline to encounter the grace of God, the special grace that catapult people from the lower level of Kida to the higher level of Kida. You are coming out of the pit of discouragement and you are rising up to the to 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 to, to the start to, to the stardom of, of, of recognition in the name of Jesus. The grace of God will abide in your life hugely in the name of Jesus. By the mighty power of God, it will turn every frustration of your life to jubilation and celebration. I do not know what you have been going through, and it seems you are frustrated in life. Don't give up. God is gracious. Don't allow the enemy to pull you down. Don't allow the negative word of the wicked one to tell you you are, you, you are not good enough. You, 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 are, you, you are not qualified. You are unable to make it. I have come to tell you this hour, you will make it. You are well able to make it because God is gracious to you. The grace of God will enable you to accomplish all your heart desires, even far beyond your imagination. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you as you have listened. I am your host, Pastor Richard Opedari. Awesome God. Appears at Radio 109.2 FM. Thank you for listening. I'm done for the hour. Till next Tuesday that we meet. Same time. Stay tuned and stay connected. If you have any prayer point or feedback, please you can reach us on 07-957-630187. I repeat, 07-957-630187. If you live outside UK, please add plus four four. Or you can reach us on email, awesomegod, rpazfm.com. I repeat, awesomegod, rpazfm.com. Stay blessed.